Yo, you see Ant tell Draymond Green he's soft? Boom, five game winning streaks, y'all. Timber Wolves. You see Edwards dunk, dude? Uh, yeah. It was a really cool dunk. What's with the tone, dog? They're like 6'5". What is the hoop up like a foot above them? Who cares? Right? Do you like slam dunks? Ain't you ever seen my shoes, dog? Oh, I always thought that was Jesus. <laughs> Why'd you think Air Jordan was Jesus? Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. There's a lot of, a lot of religious stuff that I have no idea about. Like when they say things, when people talk about like the Red Sea, like what the fuck are you talking about, right? Anyway. But you're not understanding the greatness that we have with Anthony Edwards, dog. Right? Wasn't it a pleasure watching his ass playing basketball? So you would understand if we were there live. Jenny already told you no. Don't worry about that. Anyway, Anthony Edwards, you gotta you don't understand what he can do. He can jump off like eye of the leg. Oh wow. Right? Like nobody in the NBA is doing what this dude's doing. That's incredible. Right, like here, check it. It's okay. Uh imagine uh the lead singer of Oasis. Liam Gallagher, the greatest front man of all time. What about him? Yeah, like, it'd be like if he could jump off either leg. You understand? I do not. You're terrible at analogies. Long story short, Pine Vinyl should buy a half-season ticket package for the Timberwolves. What do you say? No. I say no. It's too much money, and Jenny already told you no. She just doesn't understand the advertising opportunities, is all. Advertising opportunities? How so? Like, if I'm sitting there in good-ass seats and all of a sudden some honeys see fine-ass Ellis Griggs on their local telecast, they might be trying to find out who I be and boom, pond vinyl. You think you're TV handsome? Be honest right now. You think you're TV handsome? What's TV handsome mean? You know goddamn well what it means. Do you think you're TV handsome? Yeah, I do. I think you are too, actually. <laughs> Look, I just want to watch my Timberwolves, dog. Come on. Two against one. We can do this. You need to talk to your wife. Nah, man. Like, look, let's say me and you were in the woods and, like, a mermaid came flying in. Nope. They swim. It's like their big thing. Yeah, so she comes swimming up, right? And uh, she sees us and we're like, hey, can we go in on a half-season ticket package? And, and I'm all, yeah, okay. And then all of a sudden, but yo... Girl, you're fine as a motherfucker. And then I end up, like, you know, being with that mermaid, right? But then she's all, no, I don't understand the value of a half-season ticket package from the Minnesota Timberwolves. And then you're like, yeah, I think I agree with the octopus. Uh, one, that was offensive. The voice choice was offensive. And uh, I thought we were doing mermaids here. Yeah, mermaid, whatever. You get it, right? No, I don't. You're terrible at analogies. I don't think this needs to be so goddamn hard, dog. Okay, how about this? I am now offering you an official deal. I will only offer this deal one time, and you must answer, yes, I accept, or no, I do not accept, within ten seconds of my offer. Do you understand so far? Yes, I do. Here is my offer. For me, James Rugburn, to back you, Ellis Griggs, in a company boat to purchase a half-season package for the Minnesota Timberwolves, you, Ellis Griggs, must listen to a song I wrote and recorded last night while I was fucked up on a cheap wine and cheaper weed. Do you accept? You have ten seconds to answer. Yes, I accept. Excellent. Here it is. Go one, two, three... Wiggle if you want to be a window Wiggle if you want to be a worm Wiggle if you want to be see-through Like a worn-out window Wiggle if you want to be a worm Is that it? If you talk again, it's no deal. Wiggle if you want to make lasagna Wiggle if 
But the past is too hard Wiggle if you wanna eat lasagna Got no clothes on ya Wiggle if you wanna be a worm Worm in a hole For the good of the earth Worm in a hole Good for the earth Wiggle my nuts from the back of the room Give me that mock and I'll tell you true All these haters trying to bust my shit I wiggle, wiggle, wiggle to my brand new head You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, fool? Hear the drums, these are the drums These are the drums Nope, fuck it, not worth it I'll watch that shit on TV Cartoons for Stormers Hi, my name is James Rugburn. I was a patient at your hospital about six months ago. Yes. No. No, actually, I was just hoping to get one of the last names of your nurses. I know her first name, I... No. No. No, 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 I'm I'm not a stalker, I promise. <laughs> we had, like, a great conversation, is all. It was actually the best one that I've ever had. So I was just hoping to, like, get her last name, and, like, a few months ago I ran into her boyfriend at a bar, and he was trying to hook up with some strange, and I actually talked to her for a moment on the phone, but then her a-hole boyfriend punched me in the face. Her name is Clara. Hello? God, they hung up. Yeah, creepy-ass story. It's not creepy. It's just like the movie, Zealous. I will find Clara, and we will get married. There is no doubt in my mind. You couldn't have said that any creepier. Oh, whatever, Ellis. While you were busy watching uh, car chase movies, I was studying the works of John Cusack, Nora Ephron, and Meg Ryan. I am smack dab in the middle of my own romantic comedy, Ellis. We already had the meet cute. Then we met our antagonist, her gross boyfriend. That means all that's left is for me to find Clara and fall in love. Yeah, but what if this is a horror movie? What? Well, you think you're in a romantic comedy, but what if you're, like, in a 90s thriller? What if that boyfriend comes back and cuts your ass up? Then so be it, Ellis. I'm willing to die for love. I just turned the movie off. What movie? Your movie. Somewhere else. Somewhere else. She's not on Facebook or Instagram, at least not under Clara. She's not on LinkedIn or TikTok either. And they won't let me wait outside the door of the hospital. I'd be a terrible stalker. Good thing I'm not a stalker. Oh, hey, Jenny. You still friends with that Aaron? The one that works at Abbott Hospital? Yeah? Why? I told you I'm not doing a threesome, Ellis. Girl, slow down. Who said anything about a threesome? Plus, Erin is not my type. Erin is super cute and super skinny. She's everyone's type, Ellis. Not mine. I don't like them skinny. If I could talk to her just one more time, oh, I need to figure out a way back into that hospital. But how? <sighs> oh. I got it. Ah! Thanks so much for coming, guys. I hope you get to meet Clara. Hi, I'm Aaron. I'll be your... Jenny? Oh my god, how are you? I'm really good, yeah. You remember my husband, Ellis. But if you're wondering, no, he's not interested in you. He's only into big, fat, slob women. <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway, do you know when Clara starts her shift? Clara? She hasn't worked here in a few months. She switched to a clinic, but not sure which one. What? No. How'd you break her leg? <sighs> I jumped out of a window. 
Yeah, like, this is definitely not a romantic comedy, all right? It's more like, like a slapstick comedy movie. One of those real dumb ones, though. Not like Naked Gun or Scary Movie, but like one of those that came after it. Remember the ones that they thought they were really funny, but they just weren't? Like they was missing something? It was just bad, unfunny, and bad, and cheap, and bad, right? Maybe one of them. Not a romantic comedy, but maybe one of those. Dumb and Dumber. Remember that? The prequel? When they were all young and shit and just terrible? Remember that? Maybe it's like one of those, your life. Hey, Ellis. Did you know Susan Sarandon married a man named Chris Sarandon? And that's how she got the name Susan Sarandon? You never hear of actresses keeping the name of their exes. What part of that do you think I care about? Yeah, you're right. Hey, is Jenny here? Maybe she'll think my Susan Sarandon fact is interesting. Yeah, she's up front finishing the deposits. Cool. Hey, did you know that Susan Sarandon, she was named Susan Sarandon because she was married to a Chris Sarandon. It was her ex. Okay. Okay. Don't do it. Don't do what? You didn't give the audience you wanted on your stupid surrounding facts, and now you're going to tweet it or some shit. Stop it. Stop it. I don't like when you do that. Don't like when I do what? Get inside my head. Stop being so obvious. I knew Jenny wouldn't care. She got celebrity blindness. Celebrity blindness? What is that? The only celebrities she knows are the hosts of her shows, like her house shows or her cooking shows, a few gay dudes... She doesn't even know who Bill Murray is, dude. Denzel, Clooney, nope. Huh, that's fascinating. She seems smart. Weird. That's the thing, dog. She is smart. Smart people don't care about celebrities and pop culture stuff like smooth brain people. You calling me a koala bear? You put the U in eucalyptus. Damn, Ellis, you're learning animals? Yeah, Jenny teaches me. She's smart. Because she doesn't give a shit about stupid shit. Well, I'm no smooth brain, Ellis. Prove it. Holy shit, are we going to do trivia? I'm going to ask you three questions. Yes, we're doing trivia. Uh, yep. Yeah. First, que first question. Spell the word continuous. Can you use that in a, uh, in a sentence? Spell the word continuous. C-O-N-T, cont, uh, tin. So it's C-O-N-T-I-N-O-U-S. Uh, you forgot the you. You're as forgetful as an elephant. Again, Ellis. Very impressive. Jenny takes me to the zoo, dog. Next question. 16 times 3. Oh, math? Okay. Uh, hey, hand me my calculator. <laughs> but seriously, what the fuck? 16 times 3? It's impossible. Name 10 celebrities who have had their naked pictures leak online. Emma Watson, Jennifer Lawrence, Kate Upton, Charlize Theron, Ariana Grande, Aaron Andrews, Vanessa Hutchins, Scarlett Johansson. Wait a minute. You, yep. you dumb. Fuck, that's disappointing. What's this now? I wonder if the storm outside got stronger. <laughs> What up? Hello from the year 2000. What's that a reference to? It's a 20-year-old Conan joke. Imagine what you could accomplish if you didn't know all the dumb stuff. Name the starting lineup of the Minnesota Timberwolves in the year 2012. 2012? Oh, shit. Rubio, Love, Kirilenko, Peck, Shved, uh, Ridenauer. The only all-white starting lineup since they took the picture for the NBA logo. I believe they were actually six deep on whites that year. The fuck was that dude's name? Missed the playoffs by about 30 fucking games, yeah. If you think sports stuff is dumb, like celebrity gossip, then you are wrong, my friend. It's history, dog. It's why they get parades when they win. You don't see Jennifer Love Hewitt getting parades for taking her titties out on the internet. I must stop you there. Ellis, we both know Jennifer Love Hewitt has never gone topless before. At least not on camera. 
We went on that exploration together many times. Yeah, I know. Man, if I could see any woman's tits that I haven't seen yet, it would be Jennifer Love Hewitt's tits. Never heard of her. Oh, good God, damn. And turn the lights back on. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Uh, Pine Vinyl reminds you to scare the ones you love most this Halloween season. From all of us here, we wish you a happy and safe Halloween. Who's Jennifer with the tits, Ellis? Happy October, Ellis. Isn't the fall the most wonderful time of the year? The crunch of the fallen leaves, the crisp breeze. You got a bowl ready or what? Yowzers, huh? Woo. Hello to you, too. It's been a minute. Jenny ate all the gummies last night watching Pioneer Woman, and I haven't had any proper flour in like a week. You got a bowl ready or what? What's your favorite thing about fall? You know this is a bad decision. What you're doing right now? What's your favorite thing about fall or I'm not giving you this bowl? Uh, uh Jack, Jack Faces. Uh, what's Jack Faces? Jacko Faces. Oh, Jack Lanterns. <laughs> yeah, I like those too, Ellis. I also enjoy... Pack that bowl or I'll smash your nuts. Okay, if that's how you want it to be. I have to warn you, though. This is a weird strain, Ellis. I don't care, dog. Just pack it and hand it. Okay. But I warned you. Hey, you want a free one, man? On the house, you know? It's called creepy pasta weed. It's real spooky. A little too spooky for me. <laughs> me and Britt don't like to get scared, you know? Oh, yeah. How is Britt? I haven't heard about her for a while. You're still married to her? She's, she's still a sex doll? She's Brit, man. She's my Brit. Yeah, about that weed, though. Yeah, it kind of sounds like a weird one. Maybe I'll just skip that one, you know? Kind of, I don't know if I want to have, like, crazy creatures chasing me. <laughs> well, know? yeah, man, just save it for a rainy day then, you know? Uh, it's free weed, you know? Yeah, I do know. You can't turn down free weed, right? Yeah, for sure, man. Look, Look I, I like, like to, to dance, dance with, with knives. knives. God, what the fuck, man? Yeah, you better go. She's still learning, man. <coughs> Ooh, yeah, that feels better. Mm. Are you ready, Ellis? Ready for what? The dark world of creepy pasta. Creepy pasta? What the fuck is this? Some clown restaurant? Some bozo serving muschetti? Did you say muschetti? Yeah. That's how Jenny and I say spaghetti. Oh, cute. Keep your dumb words at home. Thanks. Where are we? Not sure. Online creepypastas take place all over. But I do think I know what's coming up ahead. What? It's Siren Head. A humanoid giant from the Great White North. Why do they call him Siren Head? Got it. Be quiet, Ellis. Don't let him know that we're here. Word. What the hell? Hey, let me go. Dude, get me the fuck out of here, bro. Oh, there you are. This is the worst magic weed that we've ever smoked, dude. The worst. No way. It's not worse than the Pulitzer Prize weed. Oh, yeah. The Pulitzer Prize weed. Inside the house lives a malevolent Listen phantom. About turtles. People said he Because existed. a turtle's heart but will beat for hours after it has been cut up People and butchered. Said he went out at but the old man thought, down, I have such a windows. heart, too. Yeah, okay. Now let's just get out of here, dude. We have no control of this, Ellis. We have to stay until the creepy pasta is done. Who is this emo girl, dog? That's Jeff the Killer. The story goes he took an acid bath and became a deranged slasher after melting off his facial features. Did you pay for this weed? Yeah, this is premium stuff, man. 
Uh, you owe me 60 bucks, by the way. Yeah, fuck I do. Fuck I do. Oh, you're not gonna pay? Okay, I'll let it slide this time, just because I'm a good friend. Hey, yo, Jeff. You do anything special? <laughs> God, <laughs> oh, fuck. Are all these creepy things racist? Why aren't they going after your what ass? Because, Ellis, creepy pastas are only scary the first time you experience them. I already know all of these stories, so... They're just focusing on you, someone unfamiliar with the literature. Literature? You think this is well-written stuff? Oh, for sure, Ellis. These are characters created by some of the most inventive, original thinkers around. Each story is filled with such nuance and little touches of brilliance. Oh, the way they form these terrifying icons, each one fresher than the next. You! Which classic icon was that? That was Evil Sonic the Hedgehog. He's kind of the same as Sonic the Hedgehog, but uh, his eyes bleed. Like blood comes out of his eyes. You still talking to that guy on Thursdays? You still meeting with him? I appreciate your concern, and yes, I am. Every other week, because it's super expensive. <laughs> Run, Ellis, it's Slenderman. Oh, damn, what the fuck? Oh, golly. Are we all done? Yep, it's all over. Cool. I, I can, can dance with damn. knives. Ah, fuck. All right, fools. Jenny gets out of her birthday massage at 4.30. I want to be ready when she gets here. Surprise! That was perfect, DJ. Look, bro, don't blow your load. We need to chill right now. We need to chill? Uh, projection, junction, what's your function? You seem to be a bit on edge, Ellis. Are you worried we won't surprise Jenny? I just want it to go real good is all. She's been a bit down lately. And I think this is exactly what she needs to pick up her spirits. Plus, she did things to me on my birthday that I'm still paying her back for. Ooh, good. Tell us more about you guys doing it. I love hearing about that. I love it. Oh, shut up. What's your mission? Did you call it my mission? Yeah, your mission. I'm taking this seriously. Are you taking this seriously? Uh, reminder, I'm not married to her, dude. What's your mission? Getting decorations and, uh, dessert or whatever. Carrot cake with German frosting from Javi. Specifically that exact dessert, right? Not lemon meringue or some weird pie that no one likes, okay? Carrot cake with German frosting from Javi, right? Yeah, carrots or whatever. Oh, sure. damn you. Do I need to slap a motherfucker? Carrot cake. German frosting. I'm not DJ. Uh. Don't worry, Ellis. I won't let you down. That's real good. Now, what are you supposed to be doing? Staying out of the F-word way. Yep, and not ruining the surprise. Just don't ruin everything, all right, dog? Just stay out of the way, cool? You got it, dude. Real good, all right. And I'm going to go pick up her favorite dinner. What is Jenny's favorite dinner? Wait, don't tell me. Let me guess. Uh, wouldn't it be funny if it was fried chicken? Why would that be funny? Oh, because, well, you're not the first black dude that she dated, right? Didn't she date a bunch of them? So it makes me think she's using fried chicken as bait. Do not, I said do not, and I repeat. Do not start the shit right now. Out of curiosity, what is Jenny's favorite dinner? Yeah, it's KFC. So what? You want me to slap that bitch-ass smile off your face? You need to smoke a bowl. Right now. See? Now you're being productive. You're right. Let's smoke a bowl and then start off on our missions. But only one bowl, okay? We only have a few hours to get everything done. You'll never what guess what happened. happened. Oh, fuck. She's going to be home in 30 minutes, dog. Rubber and decorations. DJ, try and stall her. I'm going to run to KFC. All right, let's go, dogs. Hello. Which aisle do you have birthday decorations? Fuck you, dude. Oh, right. I'm at the dollar store. <laughs> Should I talk to you about getting a helium balloon or... Seriously, fuck off, dude. Cool, thanks. I got everything except a happy birthday balloon. Oh my god, there's a helium shortage. A helium shortage? That's, that's not a real thing. 
That does not sound like a real thing. Just fuck off, man. Please. Just fuck off. Sounds good. Just this stuff, then. Hey, Jenny, this is DJ. Hi, DJ. Everything all right? Just heading back to the shop now. Should be there in about 15 minutes. Your house is on fire. What? I lit it on fire. You better go home quick and put it out. What? Oh, my God. Hmm. What cake did Ella say Jenny wanted? Was it a cake or a pie? Yeah, I think it was a pie. <gasps> lemon meringue pie, I think. I hate lemon meringue pie. I'm amazed Jenny likes it, but... Yeah, lemon meringue pie. That's it. Oh shit, Jenny's calling. Where in the fuck is this Kentucky Fried Chicken? All right, DJ, I got the dessert and decorations. Want to help me put them up? DJ, why did you say you burned my house down? Oh, shit, Jenny. Where is Ellis? He's not answering his phone. Oh, boy. Uh, not sure. He should be here any minute, though. Uh, hey, I bet I know someone who wants a slice of lemon meringue pie. Yuck, gross. Oh, I hate lemon meringue pie. Ugh. Ellis will be here soon. He's just running to get dinner. Where is Ellis? Maybe he's at his girlfriend's house. <laughs> I can tell by the way you're starting to cry that you didn't enjoy that joke. I apologize. Just trying to make you feel a little special on your birthday. <laughs> is it my birthday? No, it's Jenny's birthday. Finally! Ellis, why haven't you answered your phone all night? I fucked up, girl. I went to get your chicken, so I put KFC in my Google map, because the one on 66 closed, and, uh, yeah, I fucked up. I don't understand what happened. Yeah, the map thought I said Kentucky, instead of K Kentucky Fried Chicken. I fucked up. Where are you, Ellis? Fort Wayne, Indiana. I got too fucked up. Surprise! Hey, Rodburn. It smells like poop in here. It does? I don't smell it. Yeah, I think you smell like poop. Do I? Did I walk in it? Nothing on my shoes. Did you poop your pants? Uh, not really. Why not really? Why not a confident... No, I did not take a shit in my pants. I didn't shit in my pants. But due to issues that are beyond my control, that you already are well aware of, sometimes I experience leakage out of my anal cavity. It's totally normal. Eat a salad, dog. Literally one salad would change your world. And because of my lifelong condition, I just need to be extra cautious. Especially during farts. It is possible that the juicer I left in the back room may have crossed into the third dimension. You choose to live like this. This is your choice. Hey, yo, good. Hoping to find you guys. Uh, yeah, I need you to come with me and help pick up a deep freezer I found on Facebook Marketplace. Hey, Dan. Uh, yeah, uh, I would help you, but I gotta go change my pants. Sorry, Ellis can help you, though. Oh, look at that motherfucker. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, sure. I guess he'll work. Uh, I might have to warn the lady before picking up that freezer, you know. She's out there in Elko. There's a good chance she might not, she might, uh, get spooked seeing a black guy in her front yard, you know. No, I don't know. Yeah, that's okay, you know. Hey, I might, I might have a Jimi Hendrix CD in the changer. You like him, I bet. Let's go get that freezer, huh? Yeah, I'm not doing any of this. You can wait for your stepson to get done cleaning his ass. Yeah, you know, more I think about it, though, I'm not sure he can help. He's kind of got those skinny, worthless arms, you know? I do know that. Yeah, shit, I got a gay son, and I'm pretty sure he'd kick his ass. He has. I've watched him do it. Yeah, okay, well, how about this? Uh, you help me get that deep freezer, and I'll do two hours of plumbing for you on the house, courtesy of Packer Dan, professional plumber for over 37 years.
Free plumbing, you say? Hmm. Two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. I sure would love one of those shower heads that come off. You know? The ones where you can hold it. Girl, you talking about jet blast in the stink ditch? The what? What's a stink ditch? Oh, uh, nothing. I'll look into it, girl. Maybe for your birthday next week. Two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. Hey, Dan, how long does it take to put in a new shower head? Well, it depends what kind, you know. Also depends on what kind of person the client is. If they make me put on those little booties, like a goddamn chihuahua on the snow, yeah, I might take a little longer loosening those pipes, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I can swap one of those out pretty quick for you. Yeah, it's one of those that come off the wall, and you can, like, hold it. Oh, yeah. We got one of those in the basement bathroom. That's where I take Jamie's mom when she wants to do the extra stuff, you know? Uh, extra stuff? Yeah, uh... Uh, she blasts her woodchuck, and I sneak up a bit from behind, you know? Ooh, one sec, just want to record this quick and begin again. Uh, do it again? Okay, uh, sure. Yeah, she blasts her front crotch while I'm going to town in the backfield, you know? I do know. Please continue. Yeah, she got a Trump sign in the front, so you better stay in the van until I give you the okay, okay? Word. <laughs> Thanks for all the help today, Elmer. Did you call me Elmer? You think my name's Elmer? Oh, geez, your name's not Elmer? Okay. Do I look like an Elmer? I thought it might be your nickname or something, I don't know. Maybe you sniff glue as a kid? Yeah, I'm not sure that's the glue there be sniffing. Oh, okay, yeah. I like learning from black people. This is good. Okay, sniffing glue, okay. What other stuff do you guys do for fun? White women? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's something we both have in common, isn't it, huh? Yeah, whatever. Ooh, I almost forgot. Hmm. Ella sent me an audio file. Wonder what it's about. What's Dan talking about? <laughs> hey, Ellis. Did you know Fruit Loops are all the same flavor? I never thought about it. Ever. Are you serious? Does me not caring about cereal surprise you? Some of the loops are red, some of the loops are green, there's blue loops and orange loops Stop and... saying loops. Well, wouldn't you assume that the blue loops would taste different than the green ones? No, not really. I mean, wouldn't that be too hard? Like, making different flavored ones? They'd probably be needing, like, a different vat or whatever. What? Are you a, a vat? Do you even know how cereal's made, Ellis? Why in the fuck would I? Hey, is that President Joe Biden? Hey, quick question. You know where I can find some Mario Speedwagon? Me and Toby from Hershey used to get all messed up. And we'd start wrestling in the back of his mom's old place down by old 45, so near its garage. But back then in 83, things were a lot more freewheeling. I had a best friend that was black too. His name was former President Barack Obama. Yeah. Did you two vote for me? Uh, in 2020? Yeah. Kinda had to, didn't we? Not a lot of options. That's by design. Real good. Yeah. I used to like to find Maxie. She was a girl I used to know. We used to ride over to God. It's good to go. Oh, she was oh God. Yeah, I was like that for going days. My life is a movie. Anyway, my point is, if they're already making the loops different color, why not make them different flavors as well? I overheard you talking about the colors. Is that what you want to be called now? Nope. We used to throw that word around in Scranton when Coco Bean Herald would come rolling in on a pair of stolen roller skates. That cat was fucking wild, man. Absolutely fucking wild. 
Yeah, we do not want to be called colored, Mr. President. Real good. Yeah, Jack. Hey, President Biden. Call me Waterbed Joe. Hey, President Biden. Did you know the Loops and Fruit Loops were not the same flavor? Malarkey. Hey, you remind me of an old fella I used to hang out with. Coco Bean Harold. That dude was fucking wild. Do you think maybe you're too old to run for president? Oh no, has tragedy struck? Hey, it's California Senator Kamala Harris. Weird. I haven't seen you in years. What have you been up to? P and okay. I'm surprised we haven't moved past these spirals of death and parking ramps. Oh, I hate those. No one's scared of spiral ramps except you, dog. I'm not scared, Ellis. I just value my blue chariot here. Your blue what? I don't want to bang up the El Camino, okay? Yes, I'm scared of property damage. This car needs to roll on up into the parking ramp in the sky, dog. I know you just got a big check from Jenny for a good October. Maybe it's time to go get something new. Something new? Shut your mouth. Do not say that inside him. Gross, dog. Inside him? You talking about this car? Yes, and he deserves our respect. No, you know, you're supposed to name your, like, car after girls, dog. Like, give them woman names. What? Yeah, like you refer to them as, like, she and all that shit, right? Like you have a boat, and then you give that boat a woman's name. A boat? Like Titanic? Yeah, like ti well, nah. That's not a woman's name, right? Yeah, it is. The girl you brought to Renfest, wasn't her name Titanic? No. Her name is Kirsten. She was just really big. Yeah, well, I don't have a boat, and I don't really know what we're talking about. Yeah, me neither. What are we trying to do here? Oh, shit, yeah, we're leaving the parking ramp. Where's my ticket? You drop that in the Skyway. What? We need the ticket to get out. How do you know that I dropped it in the Skyway? I was hitting a blinker, and I watched you do it. Well, why didn't you tell me that I dropped it? Oh, I know why. Because you're doing that stupid holding in thing, where you hold it in. It doesn't matter how long you hold in the hit. It's the same. It's the same if you exhale right away. Oh, shut it up. Cut it out, I meant to say. Anyway, you're a real buzzkill today. Terrible friend, terrible friend. You are a terrible friend, okay? I said it. You're a terrible, terrible friend. Yeah, I'm not sure how I should take that. Let's go, asshole! We've been waiting forever! Oh, God, this is my worst nightmare. Hello? Hello, is anyone there? I lost my ticket. Well, actually, I think it was stolen. I know you charge a fee for lost tickets, but this one was stolen right from my dashboard. But anyway, I just need to get out. Can you open it? I'll pay you whatever. Just... Can you open it? There's a $50 lost ticket fee. Please use the credit card machine. $50? Uh, to get out of a parking ramp? No, I'll pay the $14 that the sign says it costs for event parking. It was an event. Please insert your ticket. I don't have my ticket. There's a $50 lost ticket fee. Please use a credit card. Are you playing games right now? We're sick of waiting, man. Let's go. Shut up, truck. Please pay $50 for the lost ticket fee in the credit card machine. I'll pay the $14 for the event that I went to, and I'm going to pay for that. And I'm not paying a cent Please more. insert your ticket. Please insert your ticket. I don't have it. Machine. I don't have it. If you don't move it, man, I'm going to drive my truck over your piece of shit car. It's not a piece of shit, you hillbilly fuck. Stop. My dad rebuilt it, and it took him a whole eight years to finish it. And then he fucking died. And then I began a lifelong of not getting fucked by anything other than desperate women, moments before turning into lesbians. I developed a cool hobby, though, of becoming super angry all the time. And a sweet addiction to weed. My counselor thinks I jack off too much, but I don't think I do it nearly enough. Then my best friend, who was in the car previously, but I'm now just noticing bailed on me, decided to bail on me by getting married and moving away with Jenny. Ooh! Then someone came and stole my fucking parking ticket off my dashboard. Cool truck, though. I bet your dick gets super hard. Event parking is $14. Either I pay $14 or I break down this fucking gate. If you break the gate, you will be charged $6,000 along with whatever legal penalties the judge decides on. 
plus $50 for the lost ticket. Ooh. Look, this is usually where I'd freak out and do something dumb. But I can't keep being dumb anymore, okay? I just want to pay what's fair and leave, okay? I'm asking, as a fellow Minnesotan, as a fellow member of this community, please help me out. Lost tickets, $50. Please pay with credit card. You know what? Fine. Fuck it. Dad, I'm sorry. I held on as long as I could. I really did. Goodbye. You can't just leave your car, man. What, are we going to be stuck here all night? Real good. Now give me all your money.